How much power cost is associated with my wife's indoor garden? Hi, I'm Jonathan, the Provident Prepper. In response to a lot of questions about how much this indoor garden costs from an electrical standpoint, we decided to do this video and we'll go through some of the components and let you know how this all works. Let's just start out on the front end of our system here. This timer is plugged into a dedicated circuit because we are using sometimes as much as a thousand watts of energy this has to have its own circuit so this has its own breaker and dedicated line this timer is set right now to come on at 6 in the morning until 10 and then again at 5 o'clock until 9 o'clock in the evening we do that hopefully so that we can get a lot of southern sun coming in during the middle part of the day and then we supplement it on both ends the cord coming out of our timer runs across the top here and over into a five-way splitter. It's a heavy-duty construction grade splitter with a circuit breaker on it. So from there it branches out into all the other lights and power strips. One of the power strips that we have is actually an industrial grade, very heavy-duty, and into that one we have these two lights on the ceiling. Those are plugged into that one uh, exclusively. Closer to the floor here, you can see a power strip on each one of the posts on these shelves. And each one of these has usually four or five plugs going to different lights. You can see that some of the light units are unplugged right now because we're just not using them. It depends on how much we're trying to grow and how many lights we need. So some of those just get unplugged when they're not in use. Right now we are actually using four different kinds of lights. We've got the commercial kind that are on the ceiling that we're experimenting with. We've also got just the basic shop lights with fluorescent bulbs. These bulbs are rated at 32 watts each. When I've actually measured them they come in closer to 28 watts a piece. But that is one set. We also have some LED lights. You can see some of those here. And these typically run about 18 watts per bulb. So 18 watts instead of 28, that's a, a fairly considerable power savings. We've also converted some of these shop lights into LED using a ballast bypass um, A plus B kind of bulb. And so those are working out fairly well. They again are going to use less energy than the fluorescents and they have a much longer lifetime. To put this in terms that my wife understands, these two bulbs run about five cents a day for the eight hours that we use them. So this shelf here takes about 10 cents worth of energy each day to grow these plants. Now if we go down to these bulbs, the fluorescent bulbs, we're looking at about three cents for each two bulbs or about six cents to run this shelf per day. And that's at a rate of 10 cents a kilowatt hour, which is our rate that we have here in our area. We have three different commercial lights on the ceiling. The unit farm light draws about 200 watts, so that costs about 16 cents a day to run. The Wacomi light and the Spider Farmer lights are more like about 100 watts each, and so they're going to take about 8 cents a day to run each of those lights. The only other energy cost for this indoor garden is this fan. This oscillating fan is used about 8 hours a day and probably costs right around 5 cents a day to use this. All in all, this garden is costing us about $25 a month, which, you know, when I eat this good food, really isn't a bad cost at all. And now for the question of the day. What is your experience growing plants indoor? Comment below, and thanks for being part of the solution.